Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today's video is gonna be super awesome because I have another new military rugged smartphone to review on my desk. Previously we've seen the Doogee S55 but today we have a brand new rugged phone that too with better specs and features. This is the first rugged phone to come with a notch. It's called the Armor 5 and is made by this company called Ulephone. The Armor 5 rugged phone comes in this sort of box packing. Looks quite attractive in black and yellow. It says IP68 over here. Even this Armor 5 rugged phone is fully waterproof, shockproof and dustproof. Let's see what else is written on the box. You've got the Ulephone branding and has the specs at the back side. Let's check them out. The Armor 5 is IP68 waterproof. It's got an 18.9-9 all-screen display with a notch, a powerful MTK6763 octa-core CPU, has 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM, supports face unlock, has dual rear camera setup, a 5.85-inch HD display, it even supports wireless charging, has a huge 5000mAh battery, and runs on Android 8.1 Oreo. The specs look quite promising, I can't wait to check out the phone. On opening the box, we've got the Eula Phone Armor 5 at the top, comes nicely packed like this. Let me just take it out of the box. This thing is quite big. Let me remove this car. Whoa ho ho, check this thing out. Oh, look at that glass back. Beautiful. It definitely looks tough and also attractive. We'll just check it out in a moment. First, let's see what else do we get in the box. You get a SIM ejection tool, a screen guard for your phone. It's a nice thing that the company is giving a free screen guard in the box. A user manual and a warranty card, just make sure to read them for all the info on the product. A USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer. A free OTG cable. A USB Type-B to Type-C converter. A stick so you can easily open all the rubber sealed ports on the phone. And a 5V2 amp hour adapter. This phone even supports fast charging. So these are all the items you got in the box. Now let's check out the phone. So this is how the Armor 5 rugged phone looks like. It definitely feels solid in the hand. The phone is a bit thick, it's about 12.6mm, must be due to that big 5000mAh battery. And the back looks really shiny. We've got a sticker on the front with the Ulephone branding and all the specs of this phone. This phone has some awesome features which I'll tell you in the video. Let me just peel the sticker on the display. There you go. This is the world's first rugged phone that comes with a notch. It has a 5.85 inch HD display with a 18.9-9 aspect ratio, that too with Gorilla Glass for protection. At the top you got a 13 megapixel front camera, an earpiece, a notification LED light and few sensors beside that. That's it, there's nothing else at the bottom. Now let's check out all the sides. On the right we've got a volume rocker and a power button. The power button has a nice texture on it and the quality of the buttons is also good. The frame of the phone is made of metal and has hard rubberized material on all the corners which act as shock absorbers. At the bottom you've got a type C port under this flap and a microphone beside that. All the ports on this phone are sealed by rubber flaps to prevent water from entering in it. And also love the orange accents all over the phone. On the left side you've got a SIM card slash micro SD card slot. It's a dual SIM hybrid SIM card slot. And at the top it says IP68 and has a 3.5mm headphone jack beside that. And this is how the back side looks like. Let me just remove the sticker. There you go. Wow guys, just look at that finishing. The phone looks absolutely gorgeous. The back of the phone produces beautiful reflections. At the bottom you got the Ulephone logo and a single speaker placed below that. I think the back of the phone is made of glass but I'm not 100% sure as the company has not specified anything about that. At the top you got a dual camera setup. One is a primary 16 megapixel camera with an f2.4 aperture and the other is a 5 megapixel secondary camera. Below that you've got the fingerprint scanner, a secondary noise cancellation mic and a dual LED flash. So that was our overview on the design and the build quality of the Armor 5 phone. It is very well built and gives a premium feel when you hold it. The phone does feel a bit heavy, it weighs around 228 grams. Ok let's power it on and see if it's got some juice in it. By the time it boots up, let's go through the specs. The Eula Phone Armor 5 has a 5.85 inch 18.9 HD HD plus display with Gorilla Glass for protection. It's powered by MediaTek MT6763 octa core CPU clocked at 2GHz, has 4GB RAM, 64GB ROM, and is also expandable up to 256GB using a microSD card. On the back, it's got a dual camera setup. One is a primary 16 megapixel f2.4 camera, and the other is a secondary 5 megapixel camera. On the front, you've got a 13 megapixel camera with f2.4 aperture. It has a huge 5000mm 
mAh battery, has NFC, face unlock and also supports fast charging. So those were its specs. The phone has finally booted up and I've also gone through the setup process. First let me give you an overview on the design and the comfort. I have to tell this, the phone looks absolutely beautiful from the back. It has a very rugged and durable body. Coming to the comfort, it feels quite grippy to hold in the hand. All the buttons are easily accessible. The only thing is, it's a bit bulky and heavy. I've also set up the fingerprint scanner on it. Let's test and see how it performs. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner is quite accurate and was unlocking the phone almost every time. The fingerprint reader's position is also good, it's easily accessible by a finger. But the thing is, it was a bit slow. It was taking some time to unlock the phone. So this is how the phone's display looks like. As you can see, it's got a notch at the top just like the iPhone 10. You can access the notifications panel from the left or right areas just like this. I have to tell this from my first impressions, the display looks very nice. The colors just pop out on the display. Now for a comparison purpose, let me show you how it looks side by side with the Doogee S55. Here's the S55. Both are almost of the same size, but the display on the Armor 5 is slightly bigger and has a notch. I feel the display quality is a bit better on the Armor 5, but the S55 looks a bit more strong and durable because of those bumpers on the corners. And this is how both the phones look from the back. Both of them are IP68 waterproof, dustproof and also shockproof. But the S55 feels muscular when you hold it in the hand, whereas the Armor 5 looks a bit more decent, attractive and stylish. Love the orange accents on the body. So as I've told you, it also has face unlock and face unlock was working very well. It was accurate and was unlocking the phone almost 90% of the time. So this is how the home screen on the phone looks like. It's got a pixel like custom launcher, swiping right brings up Google Now and swiping up on the home screen brings up the app drawer. The interface feels very smooth and this is how the notifications panel looks on it. Pretty similar to stock Android. Let's just check out the settings app. So this is how the settings app looks like. It has a custom Ulephone theme running on top of stock Android. You've got the same network and connection settings. Let me show you a special feature guys. This phone also has NFC on it. Like how cool is that? I totally didn't expect NFC on such a budget phone. Let's check out the storage on it. It comes with 64 GB of onboard storage, I've already installed a few apps and games and still left with 51.58 GB of free space, which is plenty of storage. Plus you can also expand the memory using a microSD card. Out of the box you get about 56 to 57 GB of usable space. Now let me show you the about phone. The Ulephone Armor 5 runs on Android 8.1 Oreo, here's the easter egg. And the security patch is May 2018. So that was about the settings, now let's talk about the display quality. The Armor 5 has a 5.85 inch 720p HD plus display with an 18.9 inch to 9 aspect ratio. The display quality is very nice, even though it's only a 720p panel, you won't be disappointed because the detail, the sharpness, everything is good. The colors look rich and vibrant and the white balance is also perfect. The display is also quite bright and easily visible in outdoors. Talking about the viewing angles, the viewing angles are also decent. The picture looks the same no matter from where you view it. On the overall, I was quite satisfied with the display for the price. Now let's check out the audio quality. Let me play music and see how the audio sounds like. It has a single speaker on the back and the audio quality was decent. The audio felt crisp and clear but I felt the output was a bit limited. Coming to the benchmarks, I've installed Antutu on it and ran benchmarks. It got a score of about 81,721 which is a decent score for the price. It can handle most of the games and apps without any issues and on daily usage also I didn't face any sort of lag or delay. Moving on to Geekbench 4, I got a single core score of 816 and a multi core score of 3333. And these are the list of available sensors on this phone. Just have a look at them. Now let's jump into the gaming section. Let's start with Asphalt 8. I'm playing this game at max graphics settings and as you can see the phone handles the game very well. The game was smooth most of the time but once in a while you can observe slight stutters while playing the game. But that happens very rarely. Just check out the gameplay.
Let's talk about the camera quality. This is how the camera app looks like. It has a simple interface. You've got the shutter button here, front camera toggle, gallery, and above that you've got all the different modes. At the top you have flash, HDR, filters, and settings. Let me show you the settings. It can shoot photos in 16 megapixel resolution and has some basic camera settings. And the Armor 5 can shoot videos in full HD 1080p. So that was about the camera app. Now let's shoot some pictures and see how fast the shutter is. Not bad, it's actually super fast. Alright guys, now let me show you some sample photos shot on this phone. I was actually quite impressed by the primary camera. It shoots photos in 16 megapixel resolution and the photos turned out really well. The detail was nice, the sharpness was on point, the colors look rich and vibrant and the white balance was also good. The f2.4 lens was also producing good bokehs. Talking about the dynamic range, the dynamic range was nice. You got good amount of detail in both highlight and shadow areas. Just check out these samples. The Armor 5 also has a portrait mode on it, but it's not that good. The edge detection was really poor on this camera. The company definitely needs to improve that. And here are a few front camera samples. The front camera quality was good, but the dynamic range was a little less. The Armor 5 smartphone can shoot videos in 1080p Full HD, but the video quality was average. There was no image stabilization on it and the focus kept on hunting throughout the video. Now it's time to test the durability of this phone. The company calls it a rugged phone, it's waterproof, shockproof and even dustproof, but unless we test it, we're not gonna believe it, right? That's why I'll be doing a water test. I'll be dropping the phone in this bowl full of water and see if it survives. As you can see, the phone is working perfectly fine. Let's play a video and then drop it underwater. The Armor 5 is IP68 rated waterproof. That means you can take this phone underwater up to 1.5 meters, that too for an hour. Even if you go swimming with this phone in your pocket, nothing's gonna happen to it. Also guys, I really wanna put this phone to a torture test to see how durable it is. If you also want to see a special torture test video, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, now let's take the phone out and see. The video is still playing and the phone looks just fine. The touch also works even with wet fingers. As you can see guys, nothing has happened to it. The Armor 5 has successfully passed my test. One more great feature about this phone is, you can even use this phone as a power bank to charge any other devices. You can do that easily with the provided OTG cable in the box. As you can see, I've connected the OTG cable to the phone and attach any device that you'd like to charge on the go. Just like this. And there you go guys, the connected device has started charging. That is pretty cool, right? In the same way, you can charge any other stuff like these wireless earphones. Now coming to the battery life, the battery life is pretty good thanks to that huge 5000mAh battery. On an average use which includes watching videos, slight gaming and using social media apps, you'll get about 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time. And with that kind of usage, you'll easily get about 1.5-2 to two days of battery life. And the best thing about it is, it also supports wireless charging. So you can just place your phone on top of any wireless charging pad and it will start charging. So that was my review on this awesome budget military rugged phone from Yulifone. It's a really good smartphone on a budget. The build quality is top notch, looks attractive and is super durable. The display is very nice, it's waterproof, has a good camera, NFC and also gives great battery life. The only thing is it doesn't support VOLT, but all other Indian 4G SIM cards work fine. The Yulifone Armor X costs about 14,500 rupees and is available on Banggood. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.